Good afternoon. I'm gonna go grab my prescription and my parcel from the UPS store. Cause that's what ends up happening. Oh, you wanna see the scar? So I said that I burned myself last night. There it is. There it is. It, uh, it doesn't hurt. It's, uh, <laughs> she still have like toothpaste on there from last night. Uh, cause we didn't have like any aloe gel or anything like that. So I was like, well, toothpaste works on burns as well, as long as they're not like horribly horrible. So hopefully everything goes really nice and smoothly and I can get back in time for everything. It's raining and I do have an umbrella, but it's not raining enough to really warrant an umbrella. So I got my pills, got my Amazon package. The second address line is there. I was like afraid that it wasn't there, but no, it was. The UPS driver just didn't give a crap. So, was anyone else surprised by that? No, we're not. Time to get inside, start something to eat, because I haven't really eaten anything today. I had some fruit, right? That's good. Fruit's good. That's really it. Time to get out of the rain. All right. So this is the mouse that I've been waiting for. <laughs> and I know it looks really weird, but it's incredibly comfortable to use. Yeah, if you have wrist problems like I do right now. So it's really easy to use, right? Just standard clicks and whatnot right there. And then wheel, and you've got a little thumb button here on the side. And this lights up all nice and pretty like. <laughs> You just hold it like that because this is your normal resting position for your hand, right? So it's really awkward to, to have to turn it like that. So this kind of puts your hand back into the natural position that it should be in and it's easier to use. I think it's going to take a little bit of getting used to, mainly just because you're, you're getting used to using your hand in a different way, but it's a lot more comfortable. So that's a plus. It's kind of nice out right now and I kind of want to sit here on the balcony, but it rained and everything, so everything's really wet. Actually, that's not bad. It's not raining anymore, and it's like cooler than it was in this, af this afternoon. This afternoon was really bad. I was like half sweating everywhere I was walking. It's gross. Um, that's partially why I didn't film a lot when I was walking, just because I was like, I don't think you guys want to see that. I don't think anyone wants to see me sweating that much. <laughs> So, yeah. Wondering if I should get dinner ready or if Cheryl is going to be hungry at all. She probably won't be. So I'll think I'll just like cook up some veggies or something. I don't know. Yeah. So this just goes show, to show how stupid I am. I didn't even realize that there are buttons underneath here. <laughs> There's like a forward and back button for browsing. I'm sure like you can adjust what they do exactly, but that's kind of neat. And then. This button on top is apparently supposed to change how um, accurate the mouse is, so you can set it so that it's like a slower accuracy, so that you don't have to, so that you have to move your hand more, or a faster accuracy, so it's like you have to move your hand less. But I think I'm getting really, really used to this. I'm surprised that more mice aren't created like this. That was hard to say. Yeah, because. I don't know. This just feels more comfortable and more. It just feels right. To, to hold the mouse like this and to hold any sort of pointing device like that. Unless it's like a, a trackpad or something where like you're touching the screen. But this feels this feels good. I don't know if Cheryl will like it though. I'll see when she gets home. I'll sit her at my computer and I'll see if she gets used to the way that the mouse feels and all that. So I didn't know that they're making a Flash TV show. I just watched the trailer for it. Like an, it was an extended five minute sort of trailer that showed his origin. As cheesy as it is, I kind of want to watch it just because seeing how they did his origin and seeing how it was like, oh yeah, so he got hit by lightning and then sp got knocked into like a shelf of chemicals is really reminiscent of the first Barry Allen Flash kind of guy. I like that. I just hope it doesn't become like the 90s. It was in the 90s that they had 
a Flash TV show. I just remember him looking like super buff. That show never really showed off the potential that you could have as Flash. It was around the same time that they had like the Lois and Clark TV show. But yeah, this one is done by the CW, so they're the same people who did Arrow. Though I've never seen Arrow. People say, yeah, it gets better. But you have to like watch through, I don't know how much crap. And then on top of that, they're like, yeah, and then it's still not that great, but it's pretty good. So I'm like, oh, I don't want to watch a show that's pretty good. Because I don't have time for that. Speaking of shows that are actually good, though, if you have not seen Marvel Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and you kind of gave up on it after the first like three or four episodes, the season finale is ridiculously good. So you might want to watch it. At least start from where the Captain America Winter Soldier story plot line intersects with the show. Because at that point, just everything is like, and it's great. And then you have like guest appearances from the people who are in the movies and everything. So I think it's worthwhile if you haven't seen it. So apparently Chuck has a butt of steel. Yep. He has somehow managed to bend the bed frame. And I don't know how, but it's on his side. It wasn't me for once. Let's just, I'll just, let's just show you before we fix it here. Can you see how bent that is? That's why it's like, wait a minute. The bed has been sitting funny for a day or two. No, it just happened last night. Oh yeah, last night. And uh, that's why. So we're gonna we're gonna bend that back now. Yeah. Yay! We did it. Are you even in focus? I don't know. How do you get you in focus? I don't think it's easy. There you go. Yay! I don't know what that is. I think it was something I washed it with. Might and it been, just made it tie dye. It might have been one of the towels. Oh, okay. The purple towel, I think. Yeah, because it's like, that's very tie dye. Actually, you can really tell in the camera. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's oh, like God. there's like a line that way, and then there's another one underneath there. Yeah, and then there's some more. And there's more here. All around it. And there. So, uh, we're going to put a flat sheet on here, most likely. Yeah. As well as this one. But on the plus side, on the plus side, we're successfully able to bend the uh, bed frame back into position. So if you could not jump on the bed anymore, Chuck. You know what? Sometimes it's needed. Is it really though? Yes. Okay. All the time. If you say so. Don't do drugs. Dang. Dang. Fries are done? No, we don't have fries. Okay. I'm gonna get fries? No. <laughs> I'll eat them. So we're kind of done another project thingy for the wedding. It involved water bottles. And muffins. And muffins. Cheryl is playing Marvel. Puzzle Quest. I won. She won. Hey, good job. You were all afraid that you weren't gonna yeah. win. I was real afraid of that. And Cheryl was also very adamant that she would not stay up until 1 in the morning. Okay. Which is five minutes away. It's okay, because we knocked another big thing off the list. We did. So I'm, half, I'm fine with that. Well, you knocked something else. You knocked two oh, things. Oh, I knocked two things off the list. All right. I'm on a roll. Yeah. After working nine and a half hours, that's why I didn't see me all day today. <laughs> Where's that? And we flipped the bed thing. We did. Look we at that. Put new sheets. So productive. New pillowcases and everything. Yeah. Vacuum swept under the bed. Because yeah. sometimes it gets dusty under there. You can tell because I wake up in the morning and I start like getting all sniffly. And I know it's because there's dust under the bed. Okay, I'm gonna go. Bye. Night!